<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our talk. Uh, our, our team worked on forecasting power consumption. My name is Abib and I have a background in math and physics. Manuel is my partner and uh, on the project uh, he, he studied computer engineering at Turing, artificial intelligence in Sapienza and, and is now a researcher at the National Council of Research. Ha. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> so the energy generation and selling is a complex system involving the production of energy, the transmission of energy, and then the distribution of energy to the energy sellers. Our project focused on the second, sorry, the second half of this supply chain, if you will, involving the interaction of the distributors and the energy sellers. In Italy, e distribution handles, plays two major roles. First, it dis, uh, handles the distribution of energy to the energy sellers and collects data for the energy sellers. With 32 million points of distribution, it generates 3 billion readings per day. A market size of 10 billion euros. And so a 1% error translates to 100 million euros. Therefore, the energy sellers find e distribution for every error they make. For every error they make uh, under one kilowatt per hour. Sorry, under one kilowatt hour. Our solution was to forecast one week ahead of time the 10% of the forecast that was not available using past consumption data and also contract information. We, I hand that over now to Mano to tell you more about our solution. Thank you. So here the problem is that we want to predict the future behavior of our customer. And how can we do that? We have to look in the past and try to predict the future. You could just take an engineer, put him on the job using freely available tools, and it will get you a 43% accuracy, which means out of 100 days of predictions, it will get right within an acceptable error range, 43%. And what you will get is something like this. As you can see, the prediction is the blue line, and it's smooth, it's very smooth, while the orange uh, line is the true consumption. So the model here is not really able to capture the, the nature of the data. So what we did is, was to reframe the, pro the problem, going from predicting the future to a probabilistic uh, framework, more close to the physics. So we try to understand, at any point in time, what's the probability that one electron will go through the wire and that end up in the cons consumer um, uh, usage. But with this reframing, which is simple enough, and using convolutional neural networks, we got to 60% KPI. This 20% improvement nets us a uh, prediction of this, guy, of this type. As you can see, our models can better predict uh, the shape, a sphere constraints, and overall it's a nicer prediction. Another big issue is that what happens if we have no past, such as new customers? In this case, we only have contract information to rely on. So what we did was take, take everybody in an past, group them by similarity, and creating these clusters, we call them cluster, where each person based on the contract is located inside. And out of this cluster, we can see one of the biggest uh, predictions. And as you can see, it has <laughs> a daily trend. And within the day, there is lunch, there is dinner, there is breakfast, there is when he goes to sleep, and there is also a week working day and a week weekend. This is the profile for the biggest cluster we, we have in the data and it's likely to be the average working person. Um, but this is our prediction, it's not what the data really looks like. One element taken from this cluster looks like this. As you can see, it's a little bit different, but we got the shape almost right. Uh, other elements will look differently, but mostly we got, except for the weekend a little bit, we got everything right. This ac accuracy without past information goes up to uh, 20%. And it's a pretty good accuracy, since we have no information. 
Working on this project gave us not just the opportunity to work on uh, this future prediction task, which is very interesting, but also we, are, we had the opportunity to see how the system works within ANEL, how all the pieces of ANEL and distribution work together, and we got to see also what more this kind of prediction can offer ANEL. For example, many downstream uh, agents rely on forecasts, and having better forecasts means a new market. Or, for example, we, you can offer pro user profiling based on the consumption, you can offer fraud detection, as we discussed, or, uh, of course, forecast. So, thank you for the attention, and 